An estimated 35 million people are living with HIV, but more than half of them are not aware of it. Testing is critical so that people living with HIV can receive the information, support and treatment they need to live long and healthy lives. Manoj Kurian, a medical doctor who has been working on public health and HIV for many years, talks about the obstacles to HIV testing and how religious leaders and churches can help to overcome them. Tremendous amount of uh, uh, reluctance in many places, uh, so much so that, you know, as, as you refreshed uh, the, the listeners, that half the, almost half the people who are positive don't even know that they are positive. It's primarily because of the stigma. Uh, stigma of, 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 of knowing uh, about one's uh, uh, st HIV status. Uh, so people are worried and that, they, they, that people ask them, why did you get the disease? Where did you get the disease? Which is the last question that should be asked. There is a genuine problem in society still, even when there is treatment. So there is a lot of work that we need to do uh, to ensure that you know we talk about the disease, the ignorance is dispelled, and that people, uh, leaders, are able to assure the communities that you know we need to know what is the status, that and we can treat like many other diseases and protect our, our society, our young people, protect the future generations. So it is it's it's a big challenge. Faith communities are able to correct many of these many of these flaws and fill some of these gaps. And not knowing uh, that you are uh, that that one person that I am HIV positive does not protect me at all. It just sort of, you know, I'm just in the dark, and it's like you know, it's like uh, burying one's head on the sand in the sand. So, it's very important that leaders like uh, uh, like clergy or leaders in the community are actually testing and inform people that they are testing, so that people become more aware that it's important to test, it's not unusual, it's not only people uh, who are uh, sick or who are immoral who test, but normal people do test to just to find out whether they have the disease or not. The church, you know, in many places in the world, church is the only institution that stands and, uh, and has been standing for through, through the years, so people trust church institutions and it, they have infrastructure, they have got networks and f health facilities, uh, they even run health facilities and even if they don't run health facilities, the health care providers can ally themselves with the, with the churches to, to do these uh, uh, exercises, testing, treatment, etc. HIV is, is frequently linked with the moral behavior and there's a tendency towards judging people who are positive. And so it is the, the people or the, 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 the religious communities who are upholders of values in society which need to deal with these issues. It's not government. Government officials and doctors cannot adequately address these issues when we deal with ethics and moral and right and wrong. So to clearly pass the message that, you know, as uh, you know, Jesus himself said, you know, a person is ill not because of his, uh, his sin or his, uh, that his person uh, problem with his ancestors or anything, it's because he is sick, whatever the reason. And it is uh, to the glory of God that they need to be, that they need to survive, that they need to overcome the disease and they become a witness for God's strength and help society to become better.